Good morning, afternoon, y'all, because it's afternoon now. I don't know, do nothing all day. I was just editing. Chris is here. We're going to the gym today because we didn't go yesterday. I'm eating my little platter. I thought this was going to be spoiled by the time I got back. Just think you did what? Remember how was that big ass jam like a week ago? Mm -hmm. still I'm going to be like that for a minute. Or it might even be fractured. No, I wasn't fractured. Or sprained. Yeah, it was definitely sprained. Mm. Want some vegetables? Don't touch mm -hmm. my meat, though. You can have some veggies. Broccoli? You like broccoli, right? Yes, I do. Ew, I hate broccoli. You a heathen. <laughs> you don't call me a heathen because I don't like broccoli. So you like cucumbers, but not broccoli. Mm-hmm. Cucumbers are so good. That's backwards. That's not backwards. <laughs> Who the fuck? Cucumbers taste so like fresh. I mean, I eat broccoli because it's good for you, but. If broccoli is cooked the right way, fire. Cooked the right way. Is this cooked? True. Like, <laughs> I don't like that broccoli, but broccoli cooked, fire. Depending on who's cooking it, too. Some people just boil it. I'm like, oh, no, no, put no, some no. salt, some butter. No, she don't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll be telling yeah, his mama I food. I walk in the house, I'll be like, what's your mama cook? I'm that friend. But there are things given this year, I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna learn how to do that shit. I'm gonna try to do that. Mm -hmm. oh, can't even pay attention to a TV show for long. Shut long. up. <laughs> if you need, if you're not coming home for Thanksgiving, you can have it with us. Oh. Um, I'm definitely going home. <laughs> my mommy. I don't know though, because a lot of my friends are having like things around that time. So maybe I won't, and maybe I'll go after. Because my friend's birthday party is on the 29th, and I don't want to be there for more than a week again. It's stressful. Gotcha. Maybe I'll do Just Thanksgiving here. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to do Thanksgiving here for sure, actually. Actually, for sure, I'm going to be here. So I'm going to be at Chris Mama House eating that motherfucking food. That's for you. I don't want to eat it. <laughs> Just in case. My carrots. I thought carrots lasted a long time. At least longer than the celery. They good. She ain't good. See this bitch ain't like me and I don't know why. But I'ma give her a reason when I take her guy. You don't want smoke, baby. Please believe me. Cause I'm the bitch in your nigga looking easy. Touch me, taste me, fuck me, squeeze me. What's it all that? He'll never leave me. And the rest of your crew, cause I'll take your nigga and I keep my suit. I'm with that too, bitch. I'm from the hood. Lace up your shoes. So the next time you decide to start some shit, oh, broke down, jealous bitch. Sorry, I'm a little hype right now. I'm trying to get my blood pumping because I was trying to fall asleep. And I was like, no, 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 no. There's no falling asleep. So I put on some city girls. And these bitches get me hyped because they be talking about like we don't need none of these niggas. We can make money ourselves now. Take advantage of that. Because that's all these niggas needed for. We don't need them no more. You feel me? Sorry, I'm naked. I hope I wasn't showing y'all my titties just yelling right now. Because I really wanted to go to sleep. But I literally have to balance my book. The launch is about to happen or it has already happened depending on when I post this vlog. On Instagram already, I showed you guys these three dresses here. The white ones. I showed you guys this, and I showed you guys this. So um, now I have to go through the bags and then finish my bookkeeping type stuff. So that's what I'm doing right now. You know what I'm saying? I be forgetting to check in whenever I'm just not doing shit at the house. But I feel like that low-key keeps me busy. So I'm going to keep checking in with you guys. And you guys know what I'm doing. Keeping y'all updated on the shit that I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? So that way, <laughs> so that way I can stay on track. Okay, let's see if I fall asleep. I tried, okay, I tried everything. I'm about to put back on my city girl. It's the next day. I just got back from the gym. I've been bleeding a lot. Cause it's that time of the month, but I'm bleeding more than normal. So I'm like, I didn't do cardio at the gym. I did most of my workout. I didn't do the last two <sighs> workouts because I was just afraid I was gonna soil myself because I had changed several times and I was like, Okay, I don't know what's going on because I normally don't have to change this much at the gym, you know? I just told Chris I was out. I was like, I'm leaving. 
but he knew what was going on though. I didn't just say I was leaving. So yeah, he was like, feel better. So I got me some Chick-fil-A so I could feel better. My friend just hit me up and said he was coming into town. But honestly, I just wanna lay down and cuddle with myself. The reason why I want a boyfriend is four times like this, but niggas don't even wanna be around you on your period. See, now I'm feeling better. All I needed was some food. I'm gonna go take a shower and get comfortable and get to work. Good morning, my baby daddies. So, I just have on my um, wig from Wigs By. It's synthetic. Just wanted to rock it. I haven't really worn this one that much because um, it gets in my face. So that's the reason why I put the headband because I don't like when my hair gets in my face. But it's really pretty at the back. I wish I could see the back. Let me see if I can show y'all. See, it looks really pretty from the back. Like the curls or waves, whatever you want to call it at the bottom. It's really cute. But um, if I don't put something on my head, then the hair keeps falling in my face and I don't like that. So I went ahead and put on a headband and then, oh, I'll show you my outfit since we're here. I have on like just a little crop top and some, um, these pants that I got from Charlotte Russe. They're really cute actually and really comfortable, but I washed them and they were much bigger and just way more like, you know, boho type shit, but I dried them too. So now they're kind of like, um, how do you say? How do you say? They're tighter on me, but they're still flowy. So now I know not to put them in the dryer. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing because I, it's around like one o'clock right now. I have to be at the gym at three, but I'm gonna go run some errands first. My shoes from Payless have come in. Like I ordered a whole bunch of shoes from Payless and I've been doing a shoe haul because I got big feet. Everybody always asks me where I get my shoes from. And Payless was having like this crazy ass sale for 40% off. So I went ham. <laughs> Spent two hundred dollars. It doesn't sound like a lot. Like people, like I've bought shoes for two hundred dollars before. Getting a bunch of shoes for two hundred dollars is dope. And I'll show you guys here, but I'll do the official video on my homepage. Amar Real checked my email and it was like, "Your shoes have been delivered, the bitch. They've been delivered." So I'm excited. That was like my motivation for today. I was like, "You get in your shoes today, girl." So that's what I'm gonna I thought it was gonna be much colder than what it is right now. He listening to Ludacris. DLC. Too bad. Can we make it with the lights out? Champagne with my campaign. He funny. What's my name? What's my name? Uh -huh. Designer jacuzzi in the back row of the movies. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. So, and I know it's bad to go grocery shopping or any type of shopping when you're hungry, but. It's okay. I shall overcome. But yeah, so I kind of feel bad because I'm talking to like a bunch of really good guys. <laughs> and so I've done a really good job at picking them. But now I'm nervous because I don't think I want to be with any of them, you know? You guys are wondering why I always have so many like guys around me and like, and there, there's nothing wrong with them. Fine guys beautiful looking, tall, handsome, smart, educated, you know, they all got jobs, cars, apartments, or homes, you know what I mean? If you're wondering what the fuck is wrong with them or what the fuck is wrong with me, it's literally me. Like Chris said it in one of my videos, like you have, no, or one of my Snapchats, like he blasted me in my snap. And he was like, um, you got daddy issues. <laughs> and he said, I have high, I have like, very high expectations for men, um, for men, which I don't think is a bad thing. I think all women should have super high expectations for their man, especially when you have your own shit going for you, you're smart, you're educated, you got your own money, you got, then that means that that man needs to um, bring what he gotta bring, you know? My issue is just that I don't wanna get hurt. And so I just keep all the guys like that like me a lot. I keep them close because it's nice to have somebody that cares about you or people that care about you around you whether they're girls or boys. So I keep them around and I give them the attention that they need and I give them, you know, the time that they require um, or that they ask for. Or at least I try to. I just be feeling lost sometimes. Because there's always something off. Like there's, a, there's one guy that I really, really like but he lives very far. And not only that, he's much older than me as well. 
So those are two things that kind of like always kind of keep me away. I'm like, <laughs> almost, man. You were almost the one. And not only that, like, I feel like his personality is a little bit different. Like, he's funny sometimes and stuff like that, but he's very chill. Very, very chill. He doesn't smoke weed or anything. He's just a chill guy. But he doesn't smoke weed. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I can see if we were smoking weed and we was chilling together, but no, he doesn't. I mean, he's just chill. And like, I need somebody that's gonna be hyped sometimes, you know? I don't know. And then not only that, we both have kind of like different goals and we want different things. There's just a lot of stuff. There's just a lot of stuff <sighs> that I have to take into consideration, but I just don't want you, like I've never actually explained it to you guys. You guys just kind of see the guys in my videos and you're like, what the heck Amara, he's fine. Why are you not, why are you not wifing him and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah, he's fine or whatever. He got everything going for him, but like, you know, I want to, I want to feel secure. I want to feel happy. I want to be like, you know, it's just, it's just a lot to take into consideration and you guys don't know everything that's going on, you know? You guys don't know everything, you guys see what I want to show you. And although it seems like I talk a lot and I give you guys a lot of my life, I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. I just want y'all to relax. Like, I'm not the type of girl that rushes into anything. I don't rush into anything anymore. When I was younger, I used to always, I, I was always in a rush. Like, I didn't understand time. I thought I was gonna die soon or something. I don't know. But I used to always rush into everything, you know? And I don't do that anymore. And I think that's okay. And I understand that it's not only my feelings that are attached, and I know that there's other people's feelings that are involved, and they could possibly get hurt in the process. But my thing is, like, I need my time. And if you're not willing to give me my time so I figure out if I wanna be with you or you figure out if you wanna be with me, then you you have, I always give them the option. Like, you could always, go away <laughs> you and I always tell the guys I'm talking to like don't stop dating because you're talking to me because I don't tell them because I'm dating but yeah because I'm still dating you know, I wouldn't tell them that because I don't want them to like lose interest in me because I'm talking to other guys because guys get very um, defeated and territorial whenever they're with a woman especially if they're like spending their time and their money on you and stuff like that so they get very territorial and when that happens, it's like, no, 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 you can't be talking to nobody else, but I, I'm i not about to just settle for you because you came at a good time when I was not happy or you came at a good time when I was lonely or, you know what I mean? I can't be too sure. And I want to date for my whole life. Like, you know what I mean? I want to be able to be like, you're not doing what I like anymore because that happens, people change. People change all the time, so I can't be committed to one person and they change, and I'm supposed to stay committed to them. Change whether it's financially, physically, emotionally, whatever. If they change and it's burdening me, I don't want to have to hold somebody else's burden. You know, and that's very selfish, but it's okay. I'm one person. I need to worry about myself. Only other person that I can worry about as much as me is a human that comes out of my body and my mother, okay? Because I came out of her body. That's it. Anyways, that's how I feel. And I wanted to talk to y'all about it. So I'm about to pull up. Actually, I'm pulling up at Walmart, but I'm going to go to Payless first. Unless I find a good parking spot, then I'm going to park. Shoot. I want fucking ham. Look at this. <laughs> she was like, just look through it, make sure you got everything. I was like, I bought a lot of fucking things. For $200? Okay, for $200, y'all. We got some. A little bit of everything, okay? Anyways, I'll show you guys later. But look at all these shoes. This, 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 this. All right, we gonna close that up so people don't know what I got in my truck. Got a few things to get from Walmart. I think I'm just gonna walk there from here. I be feeling like sometimes I don't have on a pad and I gotta touch my coochie in public to make sure I'm wearing one. <laughs> the vlog when I was in LA, I was talking about that facial moisturizer that I used to use when I was younger and my skin used to be popping. Um, I believe I used to get it from Walmart. I don't see it here. I wanna say it's by Clean and Clear. Either Clean and Clear or Neutrogena, but I don't see it here. Right when I put the camera down, I saw it right behind me. And it's by cleaning here. It's this one. The dual action, this has stuff on it, so we're not gonna get that one. Hold on. That might have been the last one. Uh no. That's the last one, and it's nasty. Oh no. They only got the knockoff one, and I'm not sure about that. 
now I'm at Best Buy because I want to um, get a new hard drive because I'm trying to organize my life and my hard drive is a little bit wonky. If you move it a certain type of way, it disconnects and that sucks when I'm like editing and stuff. I'm just like, what the fuck? Yeah, I ended up keeping the HP Spectre. I don't know if I told you guys that because you guys know I went through a lot trying to figure out what laptop I was gonna get and keep. Um, I almost took the Spectre back too because if he convinced me, she convinced me to um, get a MacBook, but I'm just so anti-Apple that I was like, I'm gonna just deal with this. Like that computer was so like dope. Like the HP that I have, I like it a lot. So I'm not tripping, the battery life is popping. Like there's no complaints about that. And it comes with a stylus, that's the best part I think. I got to the gym. I actually went, to, I got here really early, so I waited for Chris for like 45 minutes or so because I had to drop off a package before the, before USPS closed. In the time I was sitting in the car chilling, I guess I soiled myself, you know, I'm on my period and shit, and I'm just like, I get up and I'm like, hmm. I always touch my butt whenever I stand up, like I was saying earlier when I was at Walmart. I always touch my butt. Sometimes I'd be like, did I, tap, did I put a new pad on? Or like, you know what I mean? So I touched my butt and it felt wet. And I was like, here we go. So I looked at my hand and normally when it when I could feel the wetness outside of my leggings, like you could see the blood or whatever it is. And I'm sorry, I don't think any guys watch me and you girls know what I'm going through. I look at my hand, I didn't see any blood, so I touched my butt again. Like not all up in my booty, but you know, you just touch the outside, like wherever it's wet, you know? And it, I saw blood on my hand and I'm like, here we go so I go to the bathroom and a fucking it's a fucking disaster so I text Chris and I was like it's a disaster I was like party over I'm going home <laughs> so I texted Chris and I was like um, I was like it's a disaster I gotta go home he was like okay I'm gonna just work on my shoulders while you go home and come back and I was like I'm not coming back <laughs> like whenever I soil myself and like all that stuff like I need to get in the shower I need to relax I need to put on my baby oil I need to put on my fucking um, baby powder and feel comfortable and shit you know what I mean for at least an hour like I need to just recuperate because I get angry uh-huh yeah the anger doesn't really come from like the pain and you know the cramps and the fact that I'm bleeding from my vagina it comes from the fact that I do everything that I need to do and then for some reason like I just wasted a lot of my time just because I'm a woman I had to come all the way out here fucking soil myself I wish I could just work out with blood on my ass and no one will care but that's not how the world works you know <laughs> so look at this weirdo And then recently I saw a video of Ray J talking about like I saw my wife go through childbirth and ever since then like I can't disrespect a woman like it's impossible no 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 you know and a lot of guys don't understand what we go through so they just think it's normal I'm gonna just let my period be done first and then I'll go back to the gym like I said I get I catch an attitude and then the attitude I catch is not I don't think it's hormones it's just the fact that like I've been inconvenienced and I don't like to be inconvenienced at any point in my life and I understand I have to deal with it because I'm a lady, but you know, that's the reason why women deserve the respect that we need. So if any of you guys are talking to guys, if you can't talk about your period around them, they get grossed out when you talk about your period, about blood and stuff like that. Just kind of try and explain to them. You could probably shame them as well. Because if you shame guys and you're like, you're acting like me talking about my period is like so disgusting, but it happens to me. You know what I mean? And if you talk to guys like that, the way I break things down for for men, I feel like they really appreciate it because the way that I talk to them, I feel like they think I care so much. And I do, I care a lot about everybody in my life, but I feel like because they've never met a girl who like talks to them the way that I talk to them or like, you know, confides in them the way that I confide in them because I care about how they're gonna become later on in the future, um, they kind of get attached to that. Everybody likes something that's different, you know? I'm just gonna go home, um, take a shower, I have some friends in town. I might go hang out with them, smoke a blunt or two, have a couple of drinks, um, because, like I said, I'm just trying to get back into my happy mood. Because so I got an attitude. I know I do. That's why I just had to leave, because I try to keep it positive, but whenever stuff like that happens, I just catch an attitude, so. We'll see, I'm gonna rest for a little bit and then see what I end up doing. But you guys, I'm gonna take y'all with me, because I don't think I'm gonna go to like a club or anything. At least if I go to a club, it's not gonna be like a big one, so. 
If you're not following me on Snapchat, follow me on Snapchat because I'll be snapping chatting. I'm gonna try and get some pictures too because I notice I don't be posting pictures like I used to. So I'm gonna try and like get real cute and have one of these bitch ass niggas take a picture. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna have one of my friends take a picture. Well, don't know. You gotta hold it up. I look a little Zane. Hey. Hey. Hey, Zane is in town. Yeah, yeah you know. You're just, you, know. you can't be whispering, man. The camera gotta hear you. Oh, hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> look at those fucking prominent ass dimples, though. <laughs> Them shits is prominent as fuck, nigga. Hey, hey, I need a nigga who goes like, wait, that's the wrong song. He wants to go to Dre's, but it's one o'clock right now. And even though Dre's lasts a long time, I'm kind of skeptical about how much we're gonna have to pay to get in. Dre's, let's get it. You wanna go, for sure. Okay, fuck that, let's just go there. Okay, Dre's, nightclub, beach Right, club. you too? She has to treat me right, cause I'm in town, right? That's right. They can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> we just came inside of here because obviously we're doing paraphernalia. We're playing with contraband and we don't want to get in trouble by the police because we're black in America. At least we're not doing the white stuff that the other kids are doing, right? Facts. So. You got some extra shit on that one. I know, I don't know how they be fucking. Yo, <laughs> just fucking. You seeing shots, two niggas were taking, taking shots and mm -mm. shit. Mm -mm. None of that over here, baby. All right. Hell no. Nah. But we gonna pull up smelling like straight dro. <laughs> <laughs> they were like they cute, but they was smoking for show for hey, show. You know how we match it on accident? Like, oh yeah, up. we low key match you know it. Look saying? at that. Yeah. We got on the leather jackets, the yeah. orange. We got the fur. What made, like what made you? Do I have fur? No, I don't have fur. Yeah, but have fur. what made you pick orange pants though? Man, listen. I seen them in the store. And I was like, oh, I gotta get these babies over here. Look at that jacket. That shit's you know clean, buddy. Oh yeah. We got this from Zara, y'all. Yeah. Shit's nice and don't be telling them your secrets. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Ooh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> it's like y'all can take that one, but next one. You know, <laughs> next one we ain't telling you. Look at this picture he took of me. Fuck. Focus on this picture this boy took of me. Okay. Wait. Let me post this somewhere, cause <laughs> I'm in a rush. <laughs> this picture's real cute. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Took my time taking them bitches. You should have seen his little stance he got in to take the bitches. He said <laughs> he squatted a little bit. <laughs> Gotta get the angles right. You know Hold on, Should we took one together too. Hold on, let me show them that one. Oh yeah, that one's cute too. They play them bangers. Oh, I need to play them bangers. Yeah. Okay. Cute. Oh, come on, Bixby. No one cares about you. Everybody hates Bixby, but she always be popping up. Like, how can I help? That's on the picture. Yeah, it's a cute picture, anyways. Oh, let me get that navigation going. Let me put on his bangers. He loves city girls. <laughs> <laughs> he loves city girls. Let me put on um, this one, my anthem. It's the city girls, and you know that I'll fuck you so. Get out my face before I touch you, ho. Don't you know? Can't you understand? If you fuck with me, I'll take your man. This girl don't forget that we're in somebody's neighborhood. Hey, flip the camera around, yo. Look at, look at this. Look at the you think they're gonna call the police on me? We live in Vegas. This, I mean, I live in Vegas. They don't fucking call the police on noise out here. Okay, New Mexico. This nigga is in New Mexico right now, like. Hey, but I live in LA though, it's a difference. Exactly, LA they be snitching all the time. <laughs> well, so, so, it's Saturday now, and I'm eating the food that we got last night. I literally just brushed my teeth and it is, and I don't eat or drink anything until I brush my teeth. It's 6.01. We ended up going to Dre's and we got to Dre's. They were like, it's 40 for women, 60 for men. I just kind of had to clock them. And I was like, hey, you're in school. He was like, I don't care. The type of friend I am, I can't just be like, he was gonna pay for me too. I can't just be like, okay, since you paying, no, I gotta think about other things. So I was like, there's other places we can go. And we ended up going to Gold Spike. Honestly, I went there because I love their food. Fiddlesticks is the restaurant inside of Gold Spike. So Gold Spike has like a whole bunch of different things. Like it has an indoor, it has two bars on the inside. It has an out a outdoor area where you can like play games and stuff like that. And then there's games on the inside too. Like as if you were at an arcade or something. And Fiddlesticks has a great menu. I love their menu. I haven't tried anything that I didn't like. Their food isn't too salty. You know, some of these like little fast food, not fast food, but like 
you know, late night restaurant type things, they put a lot of salt in their food because obviously that's what people want, but because they're trying to hang, um, recover, but they cook all their stuff perfectly. They got black men in the kitchen. So I just love everything about it. So I was like, yeah, we can go there and we can just have fun. So we ended up going there. I woke up at two. I started working at like three. I've been editing, um, organizing. And after I finish eating, I'm going to go and clean my room and then I will get ready for if I'm gonna go out or not, I don't know. Sometimes I get ready and I just film a video. Like I'll get ready and I'll think I'm going somewhere and then I'll be like, I don't wanna go. That happened last night, but I just went still. Even the day after, it's so good. So when you get there, get the loaded tots with steak. The loaded tots don't come with steak. You gotta ask for it. It comes with an egg on top of it. However you want your egg, it doesn't matter. It's good regardless. It's a real steak, so I get the steak medium. What I mean? <laughs> Wow, I ain't shit. Is there a mirror behind me? Cause I sure am naked. Um, I had just got out the shower. Well, not really the shower. Well, yeah, I did take a shower after. Did I take a shower after? Yeah, I took a shower after. Why well, I can't remember that? Okay, I definitely did. I know because of my face scrub. Okay, so I just got out the bath. Cause I took a bath and I, I, I was Snapchat. This is the thing about Snapchat and like Instagram and stuff. I've been trying to keep you guys updated on Snapchat and Instagram and I forget to vlog. So I just took a bomb ass bath, y'all. I had like two cups of wine, two and a half cups of wine. I'm about to have another one. I'm about to do my nails, my toenails. Cause they, I mean, they not fucked up, fucked up, but they need to be renewed, you know? And then I'm gonna get ready for the marathon because Chris has a marathon today. See, I, that's what I'm saying. I don't think I haven't checked in. He has a marathon, it starts at four. This is his first marathon and he was like, he's been like geeking himself up about it for the past two months. And I'm just so proud that he's actually doing it. You know, I gotta support my friend. I'm so proud of him. I look busted right now and disgusted. It's okay, cause in a couple of hours, I'm gonna be fucking fly as ever. I'm even ashy, I ain't even put on lotion yet because I got out the shower and I was like, did I vlog this? No, I didn't, because my camera was exactly where I left it yesterday. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Ariana Grande be dropping some bangers. I need to charge my phone, if I plan on doing anything. <clears throat> Honestly, thank you, next. I'm so fucking grateful for my ex. I really am. I even thought about making a video about how grateful I am, but I don't really want to give him that credit, but low key it's credit for me. So I'm still thinking about it. I might end up doing it. So Chris is texting me right now and he's saying that he can't run. I tried reaching out to no response. Um, so I don't think he's gonna be able to do the marathon because he didn't get his bib ahead of time. This is his first marathon, like I said, so he didn't know any better. I think we're still gonna go get something to eat though. He said, I'm gonna get my money back. <laughs> of course, you better get your money back. Cause I mean, shouldn't they send, but you say he has it on his phone, so maybe he was supposed to print it. When you pay for it, shouldn't they send you the bib? Like, then the bib has like your number and stuff on it. So it's weird that he's like, I'm gonna try and print it and bring it to him or something and see how that works because that's crazy. He did all of this, he paid to be a part of it and now he's like, I can't run because I don't have my bib. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, you better fucking run. I feel like an African mom. He's saying that he's not gonna be able to run. I thought this. I thought he was saying that they they gave him a bib in his email, but he was saying that he emailed them asking like where he can get a bib from, and didn't have an answer for him. Hopefully he's not too upset about it because Christian is a Pisces and he gets really upset about things like this, especially since he freaking planned for it for two months. I look you feel bad for him too. I would be mad about this. <laughs> so if he's chill about it, then something has really changed in Chris because I've been saying it for the past couple of weeks that Chris feels, it seems like he's changed. Like he doesn't get so angry about things. In his text messages, he said, he was like, I'm really disappointed about this, but he's not like freaking out through text. At least he's not, but let's see how he is in person. <laughs> I smell like weed in here. Oh, I was smoking weed in here, I forgot. <laughs> oh, that's what we should do. We're gonna go get some weed. Me and Chris are gonna go get some weed and we gonna smoke too. I feel bad for him. I just posted a video talking about black men. 
how we're always talking about the ones that ain't doing the right things, but we don't uplift the ones that are doing the right things enough. So one girl was like, well, until they stop dating light skins and white people, and until they start fixing um, the third world countries, then I don't fuck with black men. And it's like, okay, the ones that you're talking about that are not doing these things are the ones in the video that I'm saying we don't refer to as black men. So you're missing the point, but. Okay, when I uploaded the video, I watched one of Tasha K's videos and she was talking about like, what's that guy's name, Waka Flocka? And she was like, he's not a black man, he's a nigger. <laughs> she had the hard R on it. And I was just like, geez Louise, geez Louise, geez Louise. Like I felt so weird about it. But then I was like, that's kind of what I'm saying. I keep saying, I don't know what to call them. But low key, it's that's what it is. They're stupid, they're dumb, they don't want to do the right things. But there are black men out here that are doing the right things and want to do the right things. And if we don't give them the knowledge and the support that they need, they're just gonna say fuck us too. We can't say fuck them when they're actually trying to do something you know so that's just how I feel I got Chris he looked a little mad but that's because he was supposed to run his race and he's not running but it's okay oh they started we could enjoy it we could just enjoy it you know let's watch it we eat what you mean nah see you being bitter it's okay he said he's not gonna do another race but he is you have to look at that running He would have been dipping on all of these motherfuckers. He would have been dipping on all of them. Yeah, it's cute or whatever, but we about to go get our um, our soul food, which I'm sure they're pissed that they blocked off their their place. But we parked at the um, we parked at the McDonald's over there, and now we're walking because it's literally on the strip. Because I wanted to get my soul food on, man. I've been craving it. Okay, I got a smothered pork chop. Some candied yams. What about the um, cornbread? Oh, okay, thanks. And um, he got the oxtails. One of those sides are mine. What was the other side you got? Oh, fried okra. And then the stuffing. Thank you. All right, thanks. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not running. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Woo! And she don't got no sleeves on. They tripping. Look at these guys. They on their second lap. Woo! <laughs> Look at that grandpa. <laughs> Woo! She got on a tutu. <laughs> Oh yeah, these motherfuckers just be running for fun. What is going on? Okay, so it is the next day. I left my camera in the car. I didn't know where the hell it was. I was like, did I leave it at Eminem? It was in the car. Today is Veterans Day, so, or like the, yesterday was Veterans Day, but today is the day that people are observing it, like that work. So Chris doesn't have work today, so um, we're gonna go to the gym earlier, if I can get ready. And then, after that, we're going to work on the site until we die. <laughs> my woman, my everything. I need to get up, man. I need to eat. I need to take my B12. My, my shorts are too big for me now. <laughs> oh, you see that little, that little striation trying to come in right there? What's that? What's that right there? You guys remember those, like, fat underarms that I used to have? Ugh. Damn near gone now. It used to be really ugly. My mom used to make fun of me about it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm just, I need to go eat. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. But, <laughs> I didn't do groceries too, man. I made a little sandwich. All I need is one. We at the gym. We finna go in. We just took our pre workout. What happened to Fino? I haven't heard from him in a really long time, but then again, I haven't been listening to Nigerian music for a really long time. 
I'm about to get on that, you know what I'm saying? Because low key, that's where my rhythm comes from. That's my soul, my, you know, my everything. But Nigerians have just been making me so mad that I kind of just fell off. I was just like, you know what? I don't want to hear the music. I don't want to see the people. I don't want to watch you guys dance. But it's a part of my blood. I have to. I'm at the gay. I'm at the gay station getting gay ho. Low key, I think I'm gonna get some Popeyes because this week is gonna be a crazy week. And I don't wanna stress myself out trying to figure out where I'm gonna eat or what I'm gonna eat in the house. Whoa, why so dark, beach? Here we go. Popeyes is literally right here. So I think I'm gonna get some Popeyes and then go home and enjoy myself, bitch. The fuck? People always ask me about my diet while I'm working out, and it's not like I eat bad. But I don't eat good either. I just work out really hard, and that's because I love food too much to go on a diet or whatever. Like, I have days where I'm not days, but I have times where I literally will take off from like bread and carbs and sugar, you know, just so that my body can be like, oh, we're, we're working out, and then I get back on it. But today, I got some Popeyes, I got some chicken and some fries and a biscuit. You know what I'm saying? I just don't have time to start making food right now because I'm about to get to working on this website for the launch. I wanna make sure everything's perfect. I don't want no Tanamogo situations. I don't want the website to crash. None of that. So, I'm really doing a lot of troubleshooting right now and stuff. This Mardi Gras mustard sauce tastes good. I'm gonna try to be going. A lot of work done. So, put the smoke. It's cold? <laughs> it's cold, cold. We got a lot of work done today. Uh, I can't share this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't got my arms out and everything. You better put your arms inside your shirt. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not cuddling. Like, submit vlog. I'm Are submit vlog. you recording this shit? Yeah. And take that shit off. Hmm? I never hold I never tried to hold it. You never tried to what? I wasn't trying to cuddle. <laughs> so take that shit off. He said I wasn't trying to cuddle, but they saw it. <laughs> so I gotta delete it. Why gotta delete it? But I said so. You gotta pay a bill. I have one friend that's always like, Don't put me on the don't put me on the vlog. I'd be like, bitch, then get the fuck from around me, bitch. This is what I do for fucking work. At first I used to feel like all weird about it like oh my friends don't want to be on my video like you know Cause, you know like we have these weekly meetings at work and one time like weed got brought up and like all these people were just like yeah people that smoke weed they're terrible like the shit got passed like, you know how they all oh, the teachers it. yeah the, like all that my, too oh, yeah i was just in my head i'm like damn you niggas can think the love is some weed <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking pot. Like seven years. <laughs> this nigga Chris is a lie. He's like, they're gonna hate me if I tell them what I do. I mean, I don't tell. Like, people, well, cause like I even told you, like, people when I even they found out they're like used to like, cause I had people had such high expectations of me and shit. And they're like, you but why, why does weed equate to low expectations? I don't know. But that's what Probably they did back some, then. But think about it. Some people that smoke weed be slow as fuck. Yeah, but not everyone. You be slow sometimes too. Shit, we Sometimes. <laughs> everywhere. But that's like, why they look down on it. Imagine that's when we're 50. Okay, so the baby boomers are looking at us like, these little bitches are not going to make it to 50. <laughs> I mean, when we go is when we go. But this one, that's how they're but seeing it. They're like, they don't like, know they're ruining people their like bodies. Tommy Chong like her 80 and smoke every day? Huh? You don't know who Tommy Chong is? He was like on that 70s show. That little Mexican boy, Marco? No, like he was like the um The main character? He was oh, like he was like a character. side character and like he like owned like the photo store. And he oh he was like, weed. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Like he was like he's like eighty and smoke weed every day. Still? So yeah. that was his real character? <laughs> yeah, he was just living here. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, that's just how he act. And he still acts like that? Hell yeah. <coughs> I mean, he's never gonna stop smoking. That's weird. I feel like I have to stop eventually. Like, you know? Why? 
like you have to stop your your lungs like this is smoke still even though it's like fun and shit it's still smoke you still blow smoke out from your lungs (laughs) eventually you gotta stop eventually you gotta stop you guys it's okay when he has babies I'm gonna I'm make him stop. I don't care who his baby mama is. I'm gonna be like, Chris, you gotta stop smoking weed. I'm calling the police. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling the police on you. Stop. <laughs> That's all I would do. Don't have a soul to you anymore. What? <laughs> you what? Yeah, I'll be talking to your baby mama like, he still be smoking weed? Yeah, he be high as fuck inside the basement. <laughs> Like, he be high as fuck inside the basement, just like sitting there. Kids be screaming and shit. He just be smiling at the TV. Oh, fucking crackheaded ass. We just not a crackhead. Damn, shit. Weed right now, the way that people are smoking weed right now, it's gonna be like in 2030, that's gonna be crack. Because people gonna stop smoking crack. Everybody's just gonna be smoking weed. And you gonna be able to tell the people who smoke weed. How many people you know your age that do crack? You don't know any. You know what I mean? That shit's But that doesn't out. mean weed becomes a new crack. That's like what Xanax or Oh. So you think like there's gonna be molly heads? There's gonna and be I'm some like, drug by you then. You molly headed bitch. The like, white man always creates some new drug for people to get addicted to. But black people don't be getting addicted to drugs. I don't know how that happened with crack. That's cause it, no, cause crack was the cheap version of um, cocaine. But I'm saying, I don't know how. Black people got like so addicted to it. Like we don't know how they provided it to us. Oh, it's free. Yeah, <laughs> it's like yeah, here, come to those crack I parties. <laughs> right, you distribute. You don't. You don't. Never heard about all that shit. No, that's conspiracy theory. It's not conspiracy. It's real. It's conspiracy theory. No, that's not a conspiracy. That's a proof. Who proved it? You don't. What are you doing? Ash. I thought you were about to put it out on my wall or something. Like, you know, have you ever got hit with this part of somebody's hand? Mm-hmm. Right here. Bah! Right in the face. <laughs> you wouldn't do shit. If you try to put that shit on my wall, bah! What the fuck is wrong with you, you dumbass nigga? Look at him. He can't even pass the road he tracks with. You didn't even ask me if I was done, though. Like, that's uh-uh. etiquette. It was too small. For you? Cause yo, you broke your finger in the door and now it's fat as fuck. <laughs> you... That's only that. That's not even that. <laughs> That's the like... reason why you can't smoke this. Talking about it's too small. Big ass roach. Biggest roach I ever seen. <laughs> <clears throat> I eat this food extra. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was. Okay, well, now it's a road tour. That's right. Whoa, she dropped the blood last night. Party was almost over. Okay, goodbye.